the reason why we have so many species of hummingbirds here in Colombia it's because uh, realize like the, the, the topography of Colombia. We have three mountain ranges, we have the Amazon, we have the, the uh, Orinoco lands that is like African savannas, we have the uh, Choco jungle, they are the most humid jungles in the earth, we have deserts, we have dry forests, we have a lot of different ecosystems and every single of those ecosystems have hundreds of species of flowers and you have hundreds of species of flowers with different shapes in different altitudes in different ecosystems you will have species adapting to that, that like tiny tiny habitats so uh, you will have a species of hummingbirds who fits in the in the carved uh, flowers so it has a carved beak in each one of the mountain ranges, in each one of the altitudes, in each one of the ecosystems. So then you have the, the one that could be a single one in a, in, a, in a flat country, we have 10 here in Colombia. So we have more than 90 species of hummingbirds. 90? In, 90 species of hummingbirds in Colombia. Oh my god. A lot of them also endemic, that can't be seen anywhere, anywhere else. else. My name is Nicholas. I am ecologist, nature photographer, and bird watching guide. My aim in this world is to find a, a, a perfect balance between human activity and nature because during the last few centuries we have been doing everything only for ourselves. And it's time to start thinking in every single form of life that lives in the earth. My aim is uh, to use tourism as a platform for supporting conservation and research projects. Uh, when I finished my bachelor, I realized that here in Colombia, there is no enough support for this kind of projects. So um, with a cousin, who uh, his name is Camilo, he's a biologist, we decided to create a company, a touristic company that produces enough money so you can use a lot of that to support conservation and research projects. Thinking what, what could we do, uh, we realized that we have a lot of knowledge about nature, ecosystems, uh, wildlife, also culture, the relationship between people and nature. We give the people all of our knowledge in our tours. We teach about the ecosystem dynamics, why our forests are so different to the ones in Europe or United States. We also uh, teach you about bird watching, we give you binoculars, and the idea is that you understand why Colombia is so diverse, not just in biodiversity, but also in culture, in landscapes, in topography, why we are so rich. Teaching that or, or telling all that, all the things that I know makes me happy and, and uh, makes me feel like I'm really, really contributing to save this world. And uh, that's actually the aim of our company, to try to contribute. Tell me about the company. Um, the name of our company is Penelope Birding. Uh, we created the company only one year ago. Uh, and it has been a very, very fast growing, gladly. We also earn a grant for the government who help startups to grow. So that helps us a lot to uh, hire somebody to uh, manage your social media because I have no idea how to do that. I tried, but <laughs> I know about ecosystems, how to be in the forest, about birds, but know about Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, that, that's not my, 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 I don't know how to do that. Uh, so we hire uh, another guide who is also a biologist and ornithologist and he is such a nice guy. The company has been growing a lot. We're offering our tours in uh, hotels here in Quindío, in social media. We have um, 
single day tours like midday or, or uh, full day tours in a lot of places here in Quindío almost all of them that uh, places that are absolutely breathtaking amazing places that doesn't appear in any blog or guide because uh, those are hidden treasures and also we have three five and seven day tours in all the coffee region from Cali in the south to Manizales in the north uh, and that allows us to show our clients a lot of different ecosystems, culture, uh, fields, uh, different uh, ways of production of cacao, uh, coffee, uh, a lot of stuff. So that it's what uh, what we call a holistic bird watching experiences, where we can show you all the fibers that compose the canvas of our territory. How many people, maximum, minimum, do you need for a tour? Uh, for the tours we can have uh, from two people to six people. Uh, we have binoculars for all of uh, the clients and also transportation for all of them. Now quite a few people that come to Colombia to explore are older, retired people. Do you have tours that maybe they're not going to die of a heart attack, <laughs> that are not uh, so strenuous? Yeah, the, mainly the long tours. Our three and five year tours are uh, specially designed for seeing a lot of stuff without much effort. So uh, only short walks, not steep hills, uh, a lot of birds sitting in a comfortable chair. So that's like the perfect tour for uh, retired people. But also, uh, we can develop any tour you want. If you have some places that you want to visit, we can organize everything. And uh, we love adventure. Uh, my cousin and I, we're young and we love to go to the mountains, to the forest. Uh, I'm also a professional climber, so if you want to develop uh, not just a, a, a slow and, and quiet tour, but you want some adventure in the forest, we also can develop the perfect tour for you. So you can do some extreme. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we can make any tour extreme if you want. <laughs> That's good. What do you use for transportation? Uh, if the uh, if we have two or three uh, people. Uh, we use our own car. Yeah, it's not a, like it's a small SUV, 4x4. Uh, and if we have uh, more people, we hire a minivan, a very comfortable minivan. Give me some idea of the range of prices for like a one day, three day, seven day tour. Okay, so the day tours uh, have a range between $50 to $100, more or less, per person. Per person. Uh, it includes everything, uh, transportation, food, a professional guide, binoculars, snacks, uh, mm, everything. Very nice. Yeah, and the, the, from three to seven days they uh, have a, a range between $700 to $2,000. Depending on the accommodation, how long the, the, the tour is and the places we visit. Uh, we created a company as a platform, I, I, I told you. So what, what, I, what I realized, what I, what I imagine, is that we have enough clients supporting our, our aim and our idea that we can help a lot of people with conservation projects. Because here in Colombia, recently realized that natural reserves or national parks are not enough. We need the people in the fields, the people who, who, who have uh, plantations, who, who are farmers. We need that they have a strong commitment with conservation because the isolated patches of forest are not enough to, to uh, conserve the huge biodiversity that we have in Colombia. We need that our fields, our countryside, be becomes an habitat for species. So if every single farmer in Colombia has a tiny piece of forest or preserves a, a, a spring of water or a tiny, a tiny creek, then the landscape will become a suitable habitat for hundreds and hundreds of species. 
and not green deserts. So my aim is that tourism help us. My, my, my idea is that tourism help us to make that a reality. All extremes are uh, uh, dangerous and trying to extract absolutely everything for nature is what have lead us to the environmental disaster that we have nowadays. Uh, and the idea of not touching and preservation of everything in nature is not also a possibility in a world where you have millions of people with hungry. So um, you need to find a balance. And there are very good examples of good ways of do it where you can produce food, you can have a living, you can earn money, but in a in a sustainable way. If you have a uh, hundred hectares of a single plant, then an insect or a, 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 a pl plague or anything that likes that plant will arrive there and will cut will kill everything. But well, in that case, you have to use a lot of uh, chemicals to stop all the, the, the possible sickness and plagues. And, um, but if you have a, a, a blend or a mixture between, for example, here in Colombia, if we have uh, coffee, uh, yuca, platane, uh, uh, mm, fr fruiting trees, and uh, we have all that mixed in a place then uh, you will create like a tiny ecosystem where you have the big trees uh, producing a lot of uh, organic matter that fertilizes the ground so you don't need to use uh, chemical fertilizers you will have uh, uh, multiple uh, like layers in your uh, plantation so that will help you to create like the, di the, the, the dynamics of an ecosystem. You will have insects that control other insects. You will have birds that eat the, the, the plagues. You will have, you will have uh, fungi that uh, uh, accelerates the decomposing of organic matter. So we'll have, you will have very rich soils. Uh, when the rain falls, you will have a lot of layers that stops the rain to hit the ground. So uh, that will reduce the the, the erosion and uh, will uh, and all the organic matter will help you to conserve humidity in the ground. So you don't have to use uh, uh, like artificial water resources. So there are better ways to doing it. Are there any places around Quindío that are operating like that? Yeah. If you're coming to Quindío, I highly, highly recommend you to go to El Recuerdo coffee farm. El Recuerdo is a very small farm, only uh, is four hectares, so I think it's like eight acres or something. Uh, it's, it's very small and uh, one quarter of that is destined to preserve two uh, water springs. and. Uh, Don Carlos, the owner of the land, has an amazing way of understanding things. So he says, I produce coffee. Only a small percentage of the coffee that I could produce if I only plant coffee. But, so I, I earn less money. But I don't have to invest money in uh, pesticides, in insecticides, in food, because he has his own food. So he is saving a lot of money, earning less money, but also saving a lot of money. So at the end, the amount of uh, utilities that he has uh, is the same that uh, a, a coffee farm that is producing a lot of coffee, but also using a lot of money. Plus he can mark it as being organic, chemical free. He has, he has this uh, Rainforest Alliance uh, mark and uh, the, the price of his coffee is way higher than a, a average coffee because the quality is also much better. I mean, our grandparents perfectly knew how to plant and how to preserve the ecosystem because they need that balance to survive. They need the water, they, need, uh, they don't have uh, anything to, to help the crops to, to, to grow and to produce, so they need to find natural ways of doing uh, it. Well. Uh, 
for finishing it really really encourage you to search for all those hidden treasures of Colombia those we have hundreds and hundreds of places that are absolutely amazing not crowded at all by tourism uh, and uh, where you will help a lot of people if you go to those places so if you want to know some of those awesome places in the coffee region you can contact us on Penelope Birding you can find us in all social media and uh, also if you have any question we gladly will help you to design your tour <laughs>